Hello, everybody. I'm Henry Lee, BlueHiringArts.com. Now I'm going to show you the design and the carving process of a, a Jodo official seal for uh, Arkido Jodo in Hawaii. And uh, here is the request from uh, a returning customer, a client from uh, um, Australia. So this is an international corporation, so to speak. Um, Peter, Mr. Peter Morganroth uh, ordered this seal for his friend, uh, Yokio Shimokawa. Uh, Shimokawa um, Mr. Shimokawa is building a jodo on the ground of a Homoji mission in the island of Kauai or Hawaii. Uh, so he asked Peter to create a name for the new dojo. And uh, so he, uh, Peter selected these uh, words, uh, Garden Island Arkido. Um, garden is derived from the fact that uh, the island was uh, uh, a, for many years the center of agricultural produce uh, in Hawaii Islands and still the uh, most botanically scenic place. And Peter is a biologist, so he uh, uh, favored this uh, word, garden. And uh, the island is, of course, the location. Arkido is the uh, dojo's uh, name. And uh, now um, I have uh, designed the seal according to Peter's uh, uh, preference. So we, we did this in an uh, official seal script based on the Han Dynasty seal script. And uh, you can find this kind of reference online. I will give you the links. Um, but uh, as, as artists, you have the license to uh, create, to recreate the antiquity. Uh, so I modified heavily uh, the computer, uh, the computer font uh, references, so you can see the the result is very organic or uh, artistic uh, instead of the mechanic uh, look. So the lines are not exactly even, uh, there's a rhythm, and I made some planning on chipping. Um, it would be uh, slightly different to, uh, from the final result, but this is the, uh, you see in the beginning, uh, you need to have this kind of uh, um, artistic uh, plan. And uh, so I had this uh, proved by Peter, uh, then I made uh, multiple copies, uh, with a laser jet printer. It has to be a laser printer uh, with tonal cartridge. Someone asked me in email uh, why they cannot make uh, this uh, uh, this transfer. Um, I use a liquid called uh, acetone. It, it hasn't, I mean, you can use any kind of, uh, any brand or any, uh, as long as it's, uh, it's the same chemical uh, Acetone. It could be found in hardware stores or nail polish like this. So it doesn't matter what uh, kind of acetone. The most important is the the print. Um, the, it has to be toner printer, not la not uh, inkjet printer. So I uh, put some uh, liquid on the paper, and you can either stamp it or just uh, wrap the seal and then put the liquid on the back of the. Uh, paper, it will penetrate through. That's what I did. I just press, and it made the print exactly like I made on the computer. So now I'm ready to carve. You can see this is to make a mirror image much easier. Otherwise, you have to use tracing paper and draw the uh, design with ink, and then transfer. That's the traditional way. Um, okay. So I'm going to carve it, and uh, I have a reference as a mirror image here. Okay, I use uh, uh, the medium size. Uh, uh, actually, it's considered large, um, regular size. 
we said the main uh, strokes and I'll use a smaller knife when we need it. So the knife is bigger the better because it's more sturdy when you carve. The smaller knife tends to slipper to be slippery. So it's more difficult to control. Don't have to follow exactly the writing sequence. It's just the convenient sequence, whichever convenient. You have to know where um, the um, character is. And if any uh, mistake will be. Uh, you know, terminal. If you make a, uh, missing a stroke or something, so if you carve, you need to know carve is the structure of the characters as long as it's readable. You can start from anywhere and uh, keep in mind what you're doing. So sometimes I lost track if I only see strokes, not the characters. It's a very fine Qingtian stone. It's a beautiful stone. The R and the key are uh, kind of mingled together on purpose. Uh, I arranged these five characters uh, according to the meaning. So they're not taking the same uh, space. So this is a very challenging in design. The design takes most of the, the brain, the time. Carving is a uh, relatively skill work. The design is more artistic process you need to consider all the elements and the basic requirement is readable and follow the ancient style. Every stroke has a reference not just create on your own, so it's not readable, maybe, uh, for others. So readability is a basic requirement. So based on some artistic uh, uh, style, you can create a natural uh, chipping effect to simulate the antique, antique bronze seal. So they're not even strokes. It's very difficult to make it look old naturally.
And the stolen is really, really nice.
Okay, I'm going to do some uh, fine tuning and uh, we'll uh, come back with the uh, uh, final uh, uh, initial uh, imprint. Okay, now you can see the uh, the clean cleaned up uh, seal uh, with all the details polished. So uh, now is the time to make a first stamp. That's very cool. The first time, uh, exactly what I want. You can see the design uh, on the right hand side is a uh, plant, and this is the result. Uh, very very um, natural look and organic instead of uh, the mechanical font look we try to avoid. Um, so this is it. I'm going to make a official impression in my album. This kind of seal uh, with fine lines, you don't have to press that hard, just make sure it's even to keep it thin and fine. This is a, an institutional seal, I try to make it very neat. And uh, now I'm going to make a copy for uh, the client, so he can uh, make a uh, make it in the logo or business card. Okay, um, I'd like to uh, thank everybody on YouTube for your patience uh, for watching this video and uh, thank, uh, thank Peter, uh, Mr. Morgan Roth in Australia and uh, your friend Mr. Shimokawa to uh, commission me to do this uh, special seal and I uh, hope you have a great uh, successful Akido Dojo. Thank you very much. Goodbye.